Hi, this is a quick video to show you how I make a teardrop shape. So first of all I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Oops, too far. Okay, first we're going to use the ellipse tool and holding down the shift key we're going to click and drag and draw a circle. The shift key makes it a circle and not a oval. Next, we're going to make a we're going to click on the circle and make it whatever size you like. I'm going to make mine six by six, so it's an easy number. Now I'm going to also make a rectangle, and I'm going to hold down the shift key and make it a square again. Click on it, and I'm going to make it exactly the same size. So whatever size you made your circle, make your square the same size. Click on your circle and click bring to front just to make it easier. And we're going to fill it in just so it's really easy to see what we're doing. So, whatever color. Now, highlight your two shapes, go to align, and click center. And you'll be perfectly aligned. Now, what you want is the circle to come out and fill in this space here as well. So, what I do is I click on the circle, and we click <coughs> edit points. And we've got these four points here. What you want to do is roughly in the middle here, click and make a fifth point. Now the square is just going to be used for a guide so we're going to click on that point and we're going to drag it out just until we hit the edge of that square. Now this obviously isn't a teardrop shape. So again we click on your circle and click edit points. Now click on this point on the right here and this middle point here. Sorry holding the shift key. Click on those two points and click make flat. And then we click on the rectangle, click delete, and you've got a perfect teardrop shape. And because it's still a vector, it's fully resizable, and you can fill it in any color you like. Also, when you go to your cut settings, it'll be cut just around the edge like that, or you can make an offset, offset it, use the corner so you still get the sharp point down the end. And then you can fill that in with the same color. Uh, and then when you go to your cut settings, you can select that shape to no cut. And that way when you cut, it'll cut through the middle here and you won't get any white edges. Hope you enjoy. Bye.